that John and Courtney are declaring their love for one another and the commitment that they are making before God and before each of us to make the daily choice to love one another for the rest of their lives. Today isn't just about a ceremony, but today is the beginning of their lifelong journey together. Our lives find completion only as we love and are loved in return. Together we become what we never could be separately. Marriage is a gift. It's in the regular moments of life that are the, the sweetest, where the two of you are constantly there for each other. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Court's best friend since sixth grade. Court and I were inseparable since then. I remember on our good old fashioned home phones, we would call each other every single morning before school to chat about what we were going to wear or what was going on that day. So after middle school, we continued to do everything together in high school. We were part of the Wind Lake Kids, and for those of you that don't know that reference, we basically lived in the boonies. From football games to blacklight parties to school dances, there truly was never a dull moment. You look stunning. <laughs> You have earned yourself quite a keeper. A few small tips for you. When you're playing your video games late at night, don't forget to go give Court a kiss goodnight. When you're home from work early, or if you have an at-home day, try to have Court's favorite meal ready for her. And lastly, John. This one's important. Always, always whisper these three sweet words into Cordy's ear. You are right. A wise man once said, if you're wrong and you shut up, you're wise. But if you're right and you shut up, you're married. <laughs> So let's all raise our glasses to Cordy and John. Cheers so much, we love you.
idea how much I've been looking forward to today. Um, after all this time that I've been friends with John, he's finally admitted that I am the best. So thank you, <laughs> thank you Johnny, so much. My name's Jared, for those of you that don't know me, I'm John's best man. No, I'm not gonna ramble on though. I'm gonna keep the speech just like John. Short and not that funny, so it won't, won't be that long. Don't worry about it. John and I have known each other for, I don't know, 15 years, like a really long time. And it comes, like, comes down to sports, at least originally. Him and I are the exact opposite when it comes to sports, right? Like, he's slow, I'm fast, right? Like, John was athletic, I'm still very much athletic, right? And kind of like the same way with John and Court, how opposites attract. Like ever since I've known John, at least I feel like Courtney's been the only thing that's on his mind. And it's awesome to see that come to fruition for both of you. See, Courtney, Courtney constantly has a picture to hang, a mirror to put up, some rack to put up, some project going on. And she's calling me all the time. John, that's about, I'm gonna guess maybe three, four hours ago, the daddy do list is over. The honey do list has started. All right, so everybody just raise their glass. I just want to do a toast. May God bless your, your marriage today, tomorrow, and for the rest of your life. go-getter, puts in the effort, you make her better, she makes you better. I'm so thrilled for you guys and I couldn't be happier. Um, so if we could just raise a glass to these two. Nothing but the best. If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. I now announce for the first time to you, Mr. and Mrs. John and Courtney Schulte.